Hey guys, so I just wanted to give you a quick classroom tour. I came in here a little overwhelmed, um, but I got to eat lunch with two of my coworkers, which is really nice. So that positive environment is just exactly what I was looking for and kind of what I talked about yesterday. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip the camera around and kind of show you my classroom. I have not done anything. I have moved the desk like a little bit just so I can have room in the back to see everything. But there's a lot of like stuff in here. I'll show you. Okay, so I have two entrances. So that is the second grade hallway. This is the first grade hallway. So I have two entrances, um, which will probably make it easier for the kids to go to and from. Um, so I guess let me show you over on this side. So I have drawer like storage, computers, cabinets. Then over here, I have 28 like cubby holes and desk. And a table in the back. Then over here, <clears throat> I have cabinet, more bookcases, or not bookcases, more cabinets, underneath cabinets, teacher computer, and then a um, filing cabinet. And then that is the first grade entrance. And then up at the front, I have a carpet, the Promethean board, and then oops, bulletin board on that side bulletin board on the other side and then there's a bulletin board back here so um, I know one of the first things I'm definitely going to do is I'm going to reorganize these math bins with math manipulatives I'm definitely going to go ahead and invest in some like the shoe boxes like a lot of shoe boxes because those cat like look at those baskets like I can get probably all of those in like three or four shoe baskets and I still have more room. What else? And these are probably where my books are going to go. And then the one bookcase and the laptop cards, which that's what I'm like trying to figure out what to do. That bookcase is probably going to be moved over here. Okay, so overall, it is smaller than what I'm used to, but it's okay. Less room for junk. Um, but I think it may be about the same size. I just think it's because all of these desks are pulled back, and there is a lot more room in the front. Um, two, there's a ton of storage, which I'm really, really am excited about, but it also means I need to get my butt into gear and get to be a little bit more organized. Which I am definitely not at all. Two, three, I have those three drawers system that I wanted to use. I just don't know if they're gonna fit in here. I usually would try to put them in front of the desk, but I don't know. I'm gonna bring them in and see if it works, but if it doesn't work, it's not gonna be that big of a deal because I still have lots of storage, which I know is gonna be filled up really quickly with lots of stuff. So. Overall, I am really am excited. Um, it's so like fresh and clean and just inviting. And I really do love the rug with the United States on it. It's really, really cute. It's a cute font. And like, I know, I'm just picky about those things. And it, like I said, it just seems, it seems and looks great so that's probably like the most important thing is it looks good and I feel good so I do have okay I kind of know what are some of my expectations um, like one thing I need to figure out is where I'm gonna put a word wall if I need a word wall I do know I need a focus wall um, there is a wall with like posters and stuff like that that is required to be put up by the school which is perfectly fine it's actually that black one right there with all those posters it just needs to be updated so uh, probably will go ahead and just take all those things off put some border around it and make it a little bit more organized and user-friendly but that's probably where I'll put like my um, 
lunch menu and if we have like a weekly note that goes home definitely put that in there and then other than that that's it I think tomorrow I'm probably will come in I'm not gonna bring anything I'm probably just gonna come in and kind of start like cleaning out some of this stuff and start organizing it the only thing I probably will bring is like maybe some shoebox organizers other than that I think I'm just gonna kind of slowly bring stuff in um, the, the thing my hardest part is going to be about is these cubbies um, <clears throat> and all my books I don't think I'm gonna be able to bring all my books so I may have to go through all of my books and just bring favorites and just switch them out at the end of the like in the middle of the year which is perfectly fine um, I have a whole garage that I can't open the door to to figure that out because I really don't want to put stuff like on top of the cabinets which if I need to I can so I'm just like looking around but it's just like it, it just it feels good at least like all the furniture is not in like one corner like at least everything's kind of already spread out uh, so I'll probably come in tomorrow and like I said clean out everything kind of like clean up the cabinets organize them a little bit more um, see what I can and cannot get rid of and slowly start bringing some stuff up here and like maybe move some of the bigger furniture pieces around. I am home. I've ate dinner. I am no longer numb. I had cavities filled this afternoon. Don't judge. And I am in my PJs and I'm comfortable. So I'm able to reflect on the day and tell you um, some things that I have thought about during this afternoon and this evening. Number one. I am overwhelmed with storage. I have so much storage. I have three walls of either cabinets, an armoire, cubby holes, and counter space. I am just like, oh, so like, I feel so blessed. I feel so blessed to be like by the storage people. Thank you for giving me all of the classroom storage. And you have to understand, at my old school, there was no storage at all except for one armoire and two bookcases. Anything that I needed, such as milk crates, those three drawer plastic system, I had to literally buy and bring my bring it bring it to the school myself or inherit it from other teachers because you know as teachers get leave, they get rid of stuff and then you just you just you just inherit stuff. Anyways, so to be going from a place with literally no storage to a place that has lots of storage I really am excited and it just means that I need to be a little bit more organized and on top of it this year which I am planning on it number two I have no teacher desk if you noticed uh, during my walkthrough there was no teacher desk other than a horseshoe table and a little teacher area on the back of the counter which I am perfectly happy with because my the last four years that I've had a teacher desk it literally became a junk spot it just became a place to put whatever handouts we were given at a meeting um, a place to just kind of store whatever stuff I bought from Target and brought into my classroom or whatever else so I'm excited about just having horseshoe table and like a little space a little cabinet space in the back to be able to kind of store things and also have a space that my students can use as well so it just makes me really really excited and I have to be better organized and I have to be on top of it this year which is one of my goals as a teacher this year is to be on top of it so I'm done that is my reflections part of this video um, I'm not calling it the day one of setup because I really did not set up anything um, but that will day one will be tomorrow I will definitely upload or well, I will definitely make a video of what I'm going to do today and show you what I'm doing and maybe do a little reflections part like this and probably start uploading daily because I feel like weekly just overwhelms me oh gosh I just feel overwhelmed other than that that is all that I'm going to do tonight so be sure to like this video subscribe if you want to follow along and I will talk to y'all later bye